Hi guys and welcome back to my Unreal Engine 4 multiplayer FPS course. This is part 6 and in the previous parts we had uh, just created the lobby and shown it on the widget. And yeah guys if you guys have any questions or suggestions make sure you guys do join my discord server link is down in the video description. And make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel guys. Over 90% of you guys aren't actually subscribed so that's kind of disappointing. Anyways. Uh, so I will have links to the previous parts down in the description and you could check out my Instagram as well link to that will be in the description as well so let's continue so in the previous part as I told we, we did the lobbies but the problem with that is that we cannot transition into a game yet so we'll be setting that up both for the lobby owner as well as the other lobby members so one thing that you will need to do which I've already done is head into your default engine.ini just delete all the things that we did in part 1 and 2 in default engine so all the things uh, after hardware targets uh, targeting settings which we had anything related to steam or uh, online subsystem just delete all of those and I will provide this new set which you guys can copy from down in the video description paste this in instead of that so just remove whatever you did in part 1 and 2 and paste this why we are doing this is because we are using steam sockets so steam sockets is just another way for us to connect to matches rather than using unreal's networking of course once you do join the game you will still be using unreal's networking so a couple of things so p2p connection timeout and the important one is be used steam networking which will allow us to use steam sockets and we need to add in the net driver definitions so we are going to be clearing the net driver definitions array and we'll be adding in the steam sockets net driver and this is just something I've done extra so it's up to you whether you take this or not so I, I'll explain uh, what this does this will help us especially once we spawn in our weapon and stuff and this is something which you might not have seen what this is is this is basically the maximum amount of incoming and outgoing data from the client so by default unreal has it to something like 10 kilobytes per second or something but what can happen in games especially when you have large chunks of data going is it can exceed that limit and there may be cases where data is not transmitted or there may be cases where there's a lot of rubber banding and stuff so this is where you can fix it mark literal i guess it's pronounced on youtube has a more in-depth video on this so you guys could check that out and this is the last thing that you'll need again just copy it over this is just a one-time setup so don't really bother too much about what you're doing here once you're done with that open up your game instance and we want to create a function here so right click create a custom event and we'll be calling this one start game start game or just to be a bit more precise start lobby game now this function will be available only to the lobby owner anyways uh, let's start so we need to get steam matchmaking first steam matchmaking and from steam matchmaking there should be an option called set lobby game server now once you uh, call this function set lobby game server your clients or in this case your lobby members will be able to join your game so for the lobby ID you do have direct access to it which from the variable which we created and for the game server what this is is it's basically just your steam ID for listen server game server IP and server port are more useful for listen servers I, I mean dedicated servers so we are not really going to bother with those drag in the steam ID and I apologize for the screen being a bit black and white I had uh, flux on just don't mind that compile that and next what I want to do is just leave a delay because this does take a little bit of time hold D on your keyboard and left click once you get in your delay node add in a delay of let's say about one second and type in open level of course we'll be giving the player the option to select his map but just for the sake of this tutorial we'll be setting this to minimal default and add in listen to the options because we are doing a listen server and let's just comment this out so starts the match for 
the lobby owner callback will handle it for other members now this is a comment so I usually like to be a bit descriptive with those we are done with this and you can drag in matchmaking again over here now the setup we are doing now is for the clients or the other lobby members I should be saying so on lobby game created so when the lobby game is created what we will be doing is will be uh, this callback is going to get executed first of all and with that as you can see we get the steam id game server and using a console command we can join the match and that is how we are going to handle it so we don't need the lobby id get this as a string first of all the uh, game server and right click and type in execute console command and for the command type in uh, get an append first of all from append type in open steam dot space and for b drag in the uh, server id whatever we got from here so this is the setup we need we cannot test this right now with just one computer in in some future video i will show you guys uh, the working of this and one small bug fix actually from the previous parts so go, go to ui lobby members it's just a logical error so if the last known lobby id is not equal to the one we have stored in the variable we are in fact never storing the lobby id so now we want to actually set it just set that on true and we have set everything up so just for testing purposes in this video what we'll do is in the main menu we'll be changing this later so we are calling this from the game instance so let's get a reference to that first of all so get game instance cast to bp game instance promote that to a variable and call that main gi just to stay consistent with whatever we have and create a or not actually custom event so head into play and add in the on clicked event when the play button is clicked you want to get your main gi so control drag that and over there we want to start the lobby game all right so time to test it out now i'll just warn you guys of the potential errors that you can get the error uh, commonly that you might get is net driver lesson failure and i'll show you guys how to show those errors as well head into your game instance right click and type in network error and over here just type in print string and for the string just uh, drag this in from the failure type and you should get an idea of what's going wrong so if you do get net driver listen failure it means you haven't set up the default engine dot ini properly so click on play make sure you have steam running and if everything is correct you should technically be able to create a match and open that level which we had so just wait for that to load give it a couple of seconds and I forgot to show the mouse cursor but don't mind I, I think we can use tab so use tab and press enter all right so we are now in the map so we have transitioned from a lobby to a match now just to prove to you that this is in fact uh, networked so I guess there is a, a node or, or something networked so I'm not really sure anyways we will uh, look into that later so that's basically how you transition from a lobby to a game so that's it for this video guys Thanks for watching. If you guys did enjoy the video and learn something new, make sure you guys do subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And make sure you hit the bell icon so you won't miss any future videos. Goodbye.